It is day two of the Southern Conference Basketball Tournament in Asheville, North Carolina. Our top seeded Chattanooga women took on the number four seed Mercer in today's semifinals. And Samantha Cassano had a front row seat to an epic game. She joins us live from the Harris Cherokee Center. Hey, Sam. Hey guys, well I know it's been a couple of hours, but if you watched this game in real time, you'll understand how necessary this is. Okay, the Chattanooga women have played in a lot of tight games this season, and they've pretty much always been able to find a way to come out on top and win the game. Well, today, their backs were against the wall in the second half against Mercer in the semifinals, and they relied on that experience in close game situations to propel them to a very gritty win over a relentless Mercer team. Another early game day for the Mocs, but they know what is at stake. Raven Thompson struggled from the field on Thursday. Well, just like the rest of us, turns out she was just waiting for Friday. She moves her way inside, puts it up and in Chattanooga on the board first. You knew it was only going to be a matter of moments before this girl got on the stat sheet. Jada Gwynn just makes it look way too easy. Her signature jumper, part of a 6-0 run to start the game. Mercer starts to come alive in the second. Stacy Jones connects with Notre Dame alum Mackenzie Johnson. She gets the Bears within two. And then right before the half, it's Summa time. Summa Evans knocks down the three. Mercer leads by one at the break. They're also up by one after three. Fourth quarter now, Addie Grace Porter inbounds pass to Carson Murphy. Count the basket. Mox very much in this thing. Knotted up at 46. Who better to break the tie than Hannah Cone? She lets it fly. By the way, that ties a program record for freshman triples. She has ice in her veins. You know who else does? Jada Gwynn. She is her. 24 puts this team on her back in the fourth. Scores a new career high with 33 points, going 10 for 14 from the field, 13 for 16 at the line. Chattanooga comes up big when it matters the absolute most. They win this game 66 to 55. It was a hard fought game. Mercer, man, they were tough, physical, uh, throwing punches at, at us the whole second. I mean, the whole game, really, but that second half, he was going back and forth. Um, but it's a total team effort. And um, if anyone wants to know what we stand for, hopefully that's what you just watched a culture of togetherness and, and competing for one another. Um, and I'm so, so proud that we get an opportunity to represent this university on Sunday in a championship. Um, I just feel like we play for one another. Like, no matter if a team goes on a run, I feel like we just get closer and tighter, and we piggyback off each other. The Mocs have trailed so few times at halftime this season. In fact, you have to go all the way back to December 21st for the last time they were down heading into the locker room. Sean Poppy said he told his team at halftime to keep being us. We are okay. The Mocs are indeed okay. They are officially back in the title game. They will take on two seed UNCG on Sunday in the championship game at noon. For now, live at the Harris Cherokee Center in Asheville, North Carolina. Smith Center, Local 30 Sports.